Hi everyone, welcome to my Tropical Plant Addict channel. I thought I'd do a little video on alocasia care for you today. We are also joined by Marvin, my green-cheeked conure. You'll probably be in a lot of my videos. So, let's get started. Here is one of my alocasia hollies also known as African mask plant. Um, I've only had this about maybe five weeks and already it's grown I think three new leaves and I don't know if you can see there is a flower which apparently is quite rare for it to flower so I actually didn't even realise that they flowered. I was quite surprised when that popped out the middle. Um, not the prettiest flower in the world but still quite cool. So um, these plants are native to Southeast Asia so that means that they like high humidity and also warm temperatures. Uh, it's quite good in the UK at the moment because it's been a really hot summer so all my plants have been thriving, growing loads of new leaves and just doing really well and the humidity has been really high as well. At the moment I can tell it's high humidity today because not from my hygrometer, from my hair. Yep, as much as I straighten it, it's still frizzy but anyway. Um, the hygrometer is saying 62% humidity today and the temperature, oh, let's change that by mistake. The temperature is 23 degrees in here, so it's quite warm, warmer outside, but um, yeah, the humidity is really good at the moment for the plants. As well as it being good humidity anyway, I've been misting my plants with um, filtered water. So with this particular plant, I have been misting it maybe every two or three days with filtered water, or you can use rainwater. Um, I personally wouldn't use tap water just because of all the chemicals in it. If you live somewhere that doesn't have very high humidity, I would either get a humidifier or sit your plants on a tray of uh, damp pebbles. Um, this plant has been doing really well. Um, this is the newest leaf, this huge leaf here. When the leaves first come out, they're really kind of shiny and waxy looking. And then over time, they kind of mattify down to this. They're really unusual. Excuse me. He loves necklaces, don't you? Anyway, what was I saying? Yes, the, uh, the leaves seem to mattify over time. So eventually this one will turn more of a matte look. I can't see any new leaves popping out at the moment, just the flower, but I'm pretty sure that I'll get some more leaves out of it before the summer is over. <laughs> naughty, you're naughty. Apparently the alocasia poly can grow up to two feet tall and produce many, many leaves. So it'll be interesting to see how big mine gets. I'll probably repot it in the springtime, next spring. Um, because as you can see, the pot is quite small, but it seems to be happy at the moment. But I think once it gets bigger, I'll need to repot it and then that should encourage it to grow even bigger. Um, a lot of people have problems with these plants. I'm not quite sure why. It might be due to temperature or humidity or maybe even overwatering. I like to water this one little and often so the soil is always slightly moist, not soggy, not sitting in water, just slightly moist and that should keep it happy. They don't like to dry out completely and they don't like soggy soil so be careful you don't overwater it. 
The alocasia poly is um, apparently really easy to propagate. Uh, it grows from rhizome and you should probably do this in the spring or summertime. I wouldn't do it through winter. I'll probably do a separate video showing how to propagate this plant. I haven't actually done it with this one yet, but once it gets bigger I would like to separate it and create some new plants. Another little tip to keep your alocasia looking nice is to dust the leaves every so often to enable the plant to breathe properly and it just keeps the leaves looking nice. Um, with this plant as well, I don't sit it in direct sunlight, just a nice bright location. No direct sunlight. That will burn the leaves and the ends will go crispy. This one's looking quite good. I think when I first bought it, it already had a tiny bit of browning on a couple of the leaves, but generally it looks quite healthy to me. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed my little video on caring for the alocasia poly. If you've got any comments, any questions, just leave them in the comments box below and I'll do my best to answer them. Um, I'm also doing a little giveaway on my Instagram page at the moment, which you've probably already seen. It's a little neon pothos, pothos. So go over and follow me on Instagram and yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. One thing I did forget to mention is that this plant is toxic to pets and people. So don't eat it and keep it away from your pets. That's Marv in the background playing with one of his toys, making a right racket. So yes, I don't usually have this in the same room as my birds um, because if they eat it, it's not good. So I just thought I'd mention that.